My name is Greg Nichols. I'm a senior investigator at the Kaiser Permanente Center for Health Research. Yesterday afternoon, I presented a paper on the costs associated with cardiovascular disease and chronic kidney disease in patients with diabetes. And so what we did was we uh, divided people into four groups, people with uh, diabetes and neither chronic kidney disease or cardiovascular disease, a group with each of those things only, and then a fourth group with both. And what was really interesting is that we found that if you had chronic kidney disease, costs were about twice as high as patients with neither chronic kidney disease or cardiovascular disease. Patients with cardiovascular disease, a little more than twice as high. And then those two factors were actually additive. So, by the, so when you get patients with both cardiovascular disease and chronic kidney disease, their costs were four times greater and almost exactly the sum of, of those with patients with just CVD or just CKD. So I thought that was really interesting. And what drives those costs is inpatient care and in particular cardiovascular uh, hospitalizations. Even for patients without cardiovascular disease at baseline in the subsequent year, 10 to 15% of their admissions were were, had a first listed diagnosis of cardiovascular disease. The other thing we did in that study was to look at costs of patients across stages of chronic kidney disease. And as, as you would probably expect, they go up exponentially from, uh, from, early, from mild uh, impairment of kidney function to end-stage kidney disease. And again, those costs are strongly driven by inpatient. Even in patients with end-stage kidney disease, about a third of their costs are for inpatient. And that's taking into account those huge costs that are associated with dialysis. So uh, what are, so there's this thing called the triple aim in healthcare, and that's where you're, we'd like to pro provide the best possible uh, quality experience for individual patients while improving population health and at the lowest possible costs. And what our results suggested is that if we could treat patients to prevent hospitalizations, in particular cardiovascular disease hospitalizations, and prevent the onset of kidney disease and the progression of kidney disease, doing those things would, uh, would achieve, help achieve the triple aim.